Hello, and welcome to the Follow the Moon Challenge. My name is Allison. I will be your host on this journey with the moon. Every day there will be a video uploaded to YouTube that will help you connect to the moon energy and the zodiac sign that the moon is currently in for the day. This will help you get familiar with that energy and to see how you kind of react to it or respond to it or connect to it. Follow along in your moon journal or it just a regular journal will do or the Just a Phase moon planner and be sure that you're tracking your mood and your mood tracker for the month. Every video will list the moonrise time in Eastern Standard Time, and it will also list the meridian time, which is when the moon should be directly overhead in the sky so that you can make a point to try to go outside and see if you can spot the moon and connect to its energy. I'm so excited to go down this moon rabbit hole with you. Thanks for following along on this journey. Be sure to like the video every day and make sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload our new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me in Wonderland today. I hope you enjoy today's video. Today, February 26th, is day 18 of the follow the moon challenge and earlier this morning we had a void of course moon from 2 35 a.m to 9 30 a.m and then the moon transitioned into libra so by the time you're watching this video we are in libra energy the moon will rise today at 8 13 p.m and it will be directly overhead around 1.40 a.m. tomorrow morning. The waning gibbous moon phase teaches us to let things go. If we were having a waxing Libra moon, we would want to be putting things onto our scales. We would want to be adding and increasing with a waxing moon. But with a waning moon, these are things that we want to be shedding and releasing. What do we want to let go of? What isn't serving us anymore? And we're, we want to be making room for the things that we want to call in next month. Libra is a cardinal sign. And if you remember, cardinal signs initiate us into a season. In this case, it's the beginning or the start of fall. So Libra is an air sign and its symbol are the scales of balance. So the Virgo energy helped us to organize things get things in order so that we can able so that we can visually see or understand what it is that we need to be releasing or what it is that we've been neglecting it just helps you when we get organized we're able to like have have things in order and make sense so one of the things that i learned when i was journaling and planning for the week when we were in virgo i flipped open to my journal and i had I had printed out some oracle cards that I had done for the full moon and I never I never ended up journaling. I had just pasted the images into the planner and I was just like, oh, I guess I need to catch up on my journaling. So I've been using this Libra energy to catch up on my journaling, to kind of reflect on the moon cycle and figure out what it is that I want to do next month because our next moon cycle is Pisces season and Pisces season allows us to dream, imagine, and, and like really explore what it is that we desire and to bring things from a subconscious level up to the surface. So I'm using this Libra time to catch up on journaling, reflecting on the moon cycle, and kind of getting ready to start winding down. What do I need to finish up within the next two weeks? And then I'm going to plan and allow for some time to play and relax and rest as the moon begins to darken. So take a look at your life and see where you can apply, where you can even things out. What how can you level the playing field? How can you bring attention and awareness to something that you've been neglecting? I tend to really hyper focus on things in my life. That's kind of, um, I've kind of stepped away from trying to multitask and I just like set aside days like, okay, this is, I'm focusing on this today and then the next day I focus on something different. Um, so my scales tend to be kind of weighted down one way or the other. And 
it's time for me. I realize on Libra days that it's time for me to do that thing that I've been avoiding. In this case, I don't know why this happens every year, but I tend to be, I tend to be needing to do my taxes around the Virgo full moon and into the Libra days because I've been neglecting it. And it's just Virgo full moon usually just tends to fall around that time when you need to start getting your taxes done and ready to file before April. And this is going to be different for everybody. If you are someone who's been working a lot, you're stressed out, then a Libra day might be about resting and relaxing for you. Or if you're someone who has been doing a lot of resting and relaxing over the weekend, it might be a good time to get yourself ready for the work week to do some meal prepping and get a head start. We could use a Libra day to help balance some of the elements within our system. If you're somebody with a lot of Libra energy or just somebody with a lot of air energy, you might need one of the other elements to help balance you out. So this could be doing something that helps you get grounded and connecting to the earth energy or if you really resonate with water energy and it helps you get into flow, maybe processing or dealing with some emotions, or actually like using the water element, taking a cleansing bath to let go of the week so that you're ready to start your work week fresh. Or we could use the fire element. You can physically actively move your body and get your blood and your heart pumping or you can find something that makes you feel inspired, something that lights your inner fire. And we can be using this waning gibbous time to literally remove things from our scales, remove things from our life that aren't serving us anymore. Use today as a catch-up day. Find something in your life that needs attention and bring balance to it. Thank you for following the moon with me today. Tomorrow... We are going to talk more about Libra energy and balance.